All right, next, uh, Caitlin Steyer and Kimball Wilson. I know Mr. Wilson's here. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. All right. There we go. So um, I think I wanted this hearing to check in on compliance with my, with my last bench order. Let me go through the points on it. Um, I'm, um, so Ms. Steyer is here, good. Um, so I wanted Kiara transferred to Mr. Wilson's care. Has that occurred? Yes. Yeah, she's been in my care. And then have there been any visitations with Ms. Steyer um, since yes. December? And how have those been going? Uh, they all went good besides one. Are they supervised by, I guess, Just your this mother? Okay. All right. And then I wanted to see a 12 panel hair follicle test. Was that done? Uh, no, just because I didn't know where to go. So I've been calling around and uh, the cheapest is $380 and I, I cannot afford $380. I just started, uh, I'm barely a month into um, my new job. Uh, I work, I just got a job at Miller's Market. Um, I, 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 I'm trying to even make my rent right now. So I, I, I just, I couldn't do the hair follicle. Okay. Ms. Height, uh, any comment? Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Um, I did have contact with the visitation supervisor who is uh, Karen Dykstra. And uh, she reported to me that on the January 2nd visit, there was quite a bit of upset um, that mom was, as she put it, nodding off and essentially, as I'm quoting her, essentially passing out over and over. And at that time, um, the child was in a high chair being fed by mom, but she was having trouble staying engaged with her. So the supervisor contacted dad. He came to pick the child up and there was, uh, sounds like a fairly escalated verbal confrontation that occurred. Um, and at that point, Karen Dykstra said she was not going to do any more visits. It was just too difficult. She apparently relented on that because I heard from her again um, yesterday and she said there had been two visits subsequent to that one and that in both of those visits, mom had been on time, she had been awake, she'd been engaged and she felt like the visits had gone better. So um, I think that's moving in the right direction. Obviously, there are still some, some concerns there. And can I say something uh, yes. regarding to that? Uh, Please go ahead. So regarding to that visit, um, I'm, I'm working graveyard. I work four graveyard shifts a week. Um, Monday is my Friday. <laughs> and I had stayed up. I worked all Sunday night, stayed up Monday because I didn't want to miss my, my daughter's visit, which is at six to eight at night. Um, so, I mean, I, it's not like I'm trying to not offer anything, but I also uh, I'm obviously been up 24 hours um, prior to my visit. And um, those are the only times that are open for um, the person supervising and for, for Kimball's work schedule and, and so on and so forth. Um, I'm just trying to be able to see my daughter. And I mean, obviously I'm working around their time, so it just, which is fine. It's just I mean, working graveyard, it's a little hard. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to still get used to it. I'm, and I'm trying my best. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm, yeah. I just want to be a part of my daughter's life. Sounds uh, like Mr. Wilson that you're okay that after that time, there's been two additional visits that have gone okay. Uh, yeah, I don't want to keep my daughter from her mom, but I'm not, I did what I felt was right. If that makes sense. I mean, just I go pick her up, pick her up and tell Caitlin that that visit was over and she could try again next week or the, the next visit or whatever. However, I phrased it at that point. Um, I just, I don't know, 
trying to be protective of her and trying to find the middle ground and trying to work out life and everything. Sure. Sure. Ms. Hyatt, um, the court still needs a drug test. Uh, do you have, are there any other alternatives to a 12 panel hair follicle and to avoid the cost? I wish, I wish there were sources available for that. I know of none. I think it's important that we have that hair follicle test. As I indicated in my report, if, um, if it needs to, if there needs to be a, a wait until she she believes she's going to have a clean one, I don't think there's any point in her spending the money to go have a hair follicle test if she if she believes it's going to come back dirty. Which, uh, when I talked with her, she thought it probably would. So if yeah, some time probably. needs to pass, in so that, I mean, I, what I want is for her to have a hair follicle test and for her to be successful in that, to have a clean clean one. So if some time needs to pass, I, I don't feel like there needs to be a specific deadline to do that. Um, but until we get that, I do believe that we need to continue with supervision. And as far as the schedule, I realize the schedule, you're fitting together several pieces of a puzzle to try to find a, a good time for visitation. Um, but when someone gets off of graveyard shift, my understanding is these visits are happening in the evening there's a whole day to, to catch up on sleep or to have rest um, so that she can have a quality visit with her daughter, which I know she wants. Well, um, I'm, I'm satisfied that we're moving in the right direction. Um, the, the last two visits apparently were okay. Um, there appears to be one where uh, Ms. Steyer was overly tired and, and that resulted in some issues. But I'm glad, you know, after two visits beyond that, I think it looks like we're still on track. Um, I, I, Ms. Hyatt is right. I don't know that I can order um, unsupervised visits until I get a clean hair follicle test. And um, that means you may have to work a little while at uh, Miller's Market in order to save that money if you can. Um, um, I did. Can I? Can I add a side note? I'm sorry. Um, I did. I did uh, sign up for. Our, um, I have an appointment for a drug evaluation next next Wednesday. Um, so I don't. I don't know what that like if that particularly like means anything, but I am trying to also do that as well. Cause I remember that being in the bench warrant or not bench warrant, but um, bench statement from last, last time. So um, I did do that. Uh, my grief counselor uh, recently switched um, positions within the building. So she's no longer my counselor. So now I'm also seeking a uh, new grief counselor. Um, I'm still calling around. I'm still trying to find what, what facilities will take my insurance. Uh, so I'm, I'm still trying to do that as well. Um, okay. Trying to get these things done. Okay. I appreciate that. Um, we should set a review in this case. And um, again, Ms. Height, do you have a sense of how far out we should go? It seems that we would need to have that some more information on on her um, substance abuse evaluation, as well as hopefully some some progress with the hair follicle. Again, do you? I I don't want to to keep supervised visits any longer than are necessary, but I don't think without that we can go forward. So I I would say six to eight weeks probably is going to be the most realistic time frame. That seems like a long time, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know if we could come back with any significant information prior to that. Um, I, I do have a quick question. 
if possible. Um, I was wondering if I could possibly get an, an extra day a week with visiting my daughter. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with the being supervised. I just, is there a possible way I can get an extra day? Mr. Uh, Wilson, any comment on that? Um, it, every time I do this, I'm losing out on money. I, I lose out on money from core. I'm staying late on Tuesdays after work so I can do that parenting plan. My first class was yesterday. We're not parenting plan, but uh, you, you told me I had to go to the parenting classes. So right. I'm going to uh, parents' place on 23rd. It's over by Kessler School or whatever. I All I do is work. I mean, like, if it would be possible or something when I pick Kiara up from her babysitter, I don't know if Caitlin would be comfortable with me just sitting at the house with her and Kiara or not. I don't know if that would create fights. I'd be willing to try that for a little bit. I, uh, I'm just locked down for time. If that makes sense. I just. I'm a little concerned about that because your relationship was fairly combustible. Um, as I recall. Um, so right now I'm going to say no extra time. Um, I want to come back on February 22nd and assuming everything has been going well till then, then I do want to find some extra time at that point. Okay. okay. And eventually, I mean, looking down the road, assuming we've got a negative hair follicle test, assuming we go through, you know, the SUD assessment and do whatever treatment is required if any, um, I see a fairly normal plan where um, there is um, certainly a lot more visitation to Ms. Steyer than there is now, but we need to take these steps to make sure that your, your daughter is, is safe, okay? All right. Um, so the current order is gonna remain in effect and I'd like everybody back here on February 22nd at 9 It'll be 9 a.m. again? 9 a.m. again. Right. Okay. Are you losing work by being here, Mr. Wilson? Yeah, I clocked out for my lunch at 9 o'clock, and I sat here on the computer. Okay. Um, let me, uh, if I remember this, hopefully I will, I will try to call your case first next time because I know you've been waiting a while today and in the other days and it's just kind of how the case numbers line up i'll try no, to no. i'll try to call your case first so that you can be out fairly okay i appreciate it i'll, I'll make a note of that as well your honor okay and it, i have no problem with you chiming in and reminding me that i was going to take your case first if i forget okay <laughs> all right i appreciate it yeah all right okay thank you i appreciate all the work that both of you are putting in at this point, and um, I would say keep it up, and we'll, we'll check in again on the um, of February. Just one quick question, just for the benefit of it. Um, if I if I was to call Caitlin when I was picking up Kiara on my way home, and Caitlin was off work, and I was like, "Hey, can I just let let you see Kiara for a minute? Could we try it for Caitlin's benefit?" Or would you just, um, would you be with you'd be present also? I would be present. I, I can't say anyone else would be there. I mean, because I would be me coming home with Kiara. So it's just right. me and her. If you want to try that, I don't have, from my perspective, I don't have a problem. But what I remember is that you had a pretty contentious relationship. So if it gets to that point, if, if you start down the road, we're going to have an argument, then it needs to end at that before it gets out of hand. Okay. 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 But otherwise I don't have a problem with, with you doing that. Okay. All, All right. right. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else asking for a set over? 
Um, this is Kimball Wilson, but I didn't want to set over. I was just going to speak up because you told me last time I could be first in the docket. Yep, I got your case circled. Uh, I was going to call it first, so let's do that now. Um, Caitlin Steyer and Kimball Wilson. Uh, is Caitlin Steyer there? Let me get to your uh... so um, last time we were here, we were looking at needing a hair follicle test from Caitlin Steyer. And if that had come in, um, we were we were going to look at increasing the um, amount of visits or the time of the visits. Your uh, Honor, this is Beth Fellows, and I am here on behalf of the GAL Anne Height, who is out of town this week. So she asked me to stand in for her and give the court the information that um, you are looking for. Okay. Do you want to go uh, ahead right now and then? Uh, sure. We'll parties. She said um, that the hair follicle test was not done, and an oral swab was on January 20th. It showed positive for meth and amphetamine. Uh, the mother also did an SUD assessment um, on that same date, and intensive is recommended. Intensive what? Intensive outpatient. Outpatient, okay. Yes. One of the concerns that was um, brought up during the assessment was that her last drug use um, of meth. She said it was in July of 2022. Which, with the oral swab test, um, it was it is unknown if a new grief counselor has been found because that was also an issue. Um, Miss Fellows, you're breaking up a little bit. I just wanted to let you know. Uh, okay, visitation has been going good with Karen Dykstra, who is the um, supervising, but mom's work schedule has changed recently. Um, so she's been only able to make one visit a week. The dad has dropped by with Kiara a couple of times at mom's home and dad had reported to the GAL that it's been going okay. So the GAL, um, Ms. Height is recommending keeping the visit time status quo and that um, basically because of the um, substance use um, outpatient, um, intensive outpatient being recommended that everything remains status quo. Okay. Um, did it All right, thank you. Mr. Wilson, let's hear from you first. Um, I graduated. Go ahead. Sorry, I was going to say I went and I did the uh, the parenting class at parents place. I didn't know what to do with my certificate. It's at home. Um, I told Ann that I did that. So um, towards everything else you guys wanted, I don't know if there was anything else I was supposed to be doing. Okay. Why don't you at some point, uh, and you could send it in, uh, file the certificate in this case. Uh, you put a cover sheet on it with the case caption and the case number and just send it to the clerk's office and they'll file it. And you could do a copy if you want to keep the original. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, Ms. Steyer. Anything you want to contribute? Ms. Steyer, are you here? I'm not hearing from her. I thought she was uh, the Samson. 
Okay. Ms. Steyer. Thank you for that update. Um, uh, the court is uh, obviously concerned about the, what appears to be a current meth use uh, that's still going on. And because of that, I think maintaining status quo, which is supervised visits, is uh, the best course at this point. Um, I'm, as a condition of increasing those visits, um, Ms. Steyer will need to uh, comply with the intensive outpatient treatment. Um, I'm not going to say that she needs to complete that outpatient treatment before I increase visitation, but I need to know that she's well along and that she's um, in compliance with it. Um, so I think what we need to do is put this over another month um, to get uh, that treatment going and see how she's doing. And then we can reevaluate whether the visitation can um, increase at that time. So that's going to be on today's the 22nd. So we'll put it over to March 22nd. March 22nd at nine? At nine o'clock. Uh, and sir, if you have a work obligation, just let me know. We'll try to take you early on, okay? <laughs> yeah, I'll be at work. I can already tell you. All right. All right. Okay, I thank you. It. Thank you, Ms. Fellows.